this session we are going to talk about uh, one of the again an important concepts in industry 4.0 which is digital twins i have been very very briefly introducing a lot of core pillars of industry 4.0 uh, i spoke about ar vr i spoke about simulation i spoke about uh, uh, also 3d printing very very briefly right uh, so this is again a very brief introduction to what is a digital twin right so let me let me build a picture for you before we get into the concepts and principles of digital twin so imagine there is a pump right there is a pump which is operating actually in the field right how do you observe this pump how do you know that uh, this pump is operating uh, the way it is supposed to operate all the parameters are within the limits uh, right uh, so you have to keep tracking right uh, uh, you have to keep tracking all these parameters all the performance parameters of the pump in in that is operating in the field right so uh, uh, the now the pump manufacturer themselves uh, have some built in uh, uh, indicators right uh, that that is tracked for that uh, i need to be uh, either uh, all a lot of instrumentation uh, traditional instrumentation we are not talking about sensors and all that traditional instrumentation is also actually helping me and track the pump right track the pump understand the flows uh, uh, whether it is operating uh, the, uh, the rated output rated input all all that uh, is happening correctly i am able to track instrumentation has also helped me actually track this pump from the control room right uh, typically there is a con think about this as an oil and gas industry where this pump is supposed to uh, pump uh, uh, raw material for the oil and gas industry and uh, uh, typically for our oil and gas industry there is a control room which monitors all the assets and uh, pump is one of them and therefore uh, uh, a control room can understand what is happening with the pump very broadly very 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 broadly to the extent that control room can actually switch on switch off uh, these pumps uh, from the control room right uh, so that that has also happened now let us completely think about very amazing digital picture of this pump available to the control room person right now the control room person knows few details about the pump operations we are talking about really granular details as if the control room operator is sitting right next to the pump and trying to understand how the pump is working right even more details right uh, 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 they will understand uh, exactly uh, the vibrations the pressure the temperature uh, uh, all 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 everything right uh, uh, how the wear and tear uh, everything everything uh, now is possible in this digital copy of this pump this digital copy is now called digital twin of the pump it's a completely digital construct there is no physical component to this twin right uh, but it is an exact copy it's it's an exact same entity in the digital format how can that be achieved first of all before we uh, look at how can that be achieved let us let us quickly look at how did we come there right uh, so very first instance of where i could find uh, the mention of digital twin was this presentation made by michael greaves uh, in the context of uh, plm uh, we have seen what plm is right so uh, in 2000, 2002 presentation he was talking actually about plm uh, but uh, he does mention uh, uh, ideas which now we call as digital twin right so what is the basic idea idea is is there a is there so for example uh, if i plot uh, time versus pressure plot right that tells me in some ways how the pump is operating is that completely the picture of how the pump is operating no it only tells me the the pressure part how does that how is that impacting the other parameters how is that impacting the structural uh, composition of the pump itself how is the wear and tear for example right uh, now the same pump the pump manufacturer may be same the pump in oil and gas industry is going to behave very differently from let us say a pump operated by uh, 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 a municipality for its uh, water circulation right there the the fluid that is flowing through the pump is water here the fluid that is flowing through the pump is oil or or gas right i mean i don't know so the same pump with the same uh, configuration may behave differently in these two scenarios so how do i understand the intricacies of how my pump is behaving in a digital way that is essentially digital twin right we have been we know physical twins for a while now digital twin is a different idea right so this is this is sometime way back almost 20 years ago right uh, actually uh, uh, ge uh, i mean ge has done a lot and lots of work uh, in the original uh, designs of uh, digital twins and all that came into uh, 2011 2010 end of 2010 beginning of 2011 2012 right so uh, uh, 
what were they worried about they were worried about the asset performance right uh, so for example uh, if if i install a pump and uh, i i sell the pump uh, to my customer the customer installs uh, the pump now customer has to monitor the pump so what will they do they will sensorize the pump and uh, collect a lot of data from those sensors uh, and uh, from those sensors they will they will actually try to uh, simulate uh, how the pump is behaving right uh, now uh, one one time transaction will be with uh, the pump op, pump pump manufacturer who has sold the pump but uh, the the vendor who actually sensorizes the pump collects the data analyzes the data uh, will be closer to the customer than this pump manufacturer is right uh, so uh, uh, the, the idea at that time was well why can't the pump manufacturer themselves sell this entire digital version of the pump along with the physical version of the pump right but it will go much beyond sensorized data we are talking very very detailed analysis of the physical asset right so uh, uh, so it's a it's a digital informational construct it is so uh, here we have to make a differentiation between data construct and digital construct uh, obviously in the context that digital is a much bigger entity than data right so what why are we interested in doing this we are interested in doing this purely for one purpose one objective only which is to understand uh, the behavior of the physical asset i want to i want to emulate i want to simulate the real behavior of the pump by constructing a digital const, uh, by constructing a digital twin of the physical system right i am talking about pump it could be any any asset right any asset any machine any any system right any system so uh, that's that's the idea that we are talking about right so uh, how, how 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 do i uh, if if the picture is still not complete in your mind uh, let let me build it further right so uh, uh, for the for the pump so i will have sensors everywhere which will tell me uh, all the uh, all the vibration pressure temperature uh, flow parameters all that will be collected uh then i will also have thermo uh, i will also have uh, fluid mechanics uh, models right i will also have fluid mechanics models i will also have stress strain models to understand what are the stresses uh, the pump is going through uh what are the uh, wears and uh, what is the wear of uh, all the blades and all that because of uh, because of this uh, 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 fluid flow and because of the stresses that it is going through right i will have those models also available in my in my digital entity so not only am i estimating or emulating the behavior from the data that i am getting from the asset i am also running my own uh, fluid mechanics uh, uh, models i am i am running my own uh, uh, stress strain models uh, right i am i am doing all that right so that those mathematical models are also available which makes the digital twin not only a data construct but a complete complete package right a complete package so uh, it is essentially a multi physics multi scale probabilistic simulation at the end of the day it is simulation i am simulating a physical asset in my lab right uh, however i will have this 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 simulation is a very detailed simulation very detailed simulation it's a probabilistic simulation i am only saying that this is how the pump is behaving however uh, may not may not be completely uh, true right i mean I, I i hopefully my accuracy precision is pretty good but still is never going to be 100% the idea is how close do i come to the physical to the physical asset right how close do i come so uh it has physics model also the the the, the stress strain models the the fluid mechanics models right all all those things right uh, uh, so all all that thing will also have to be considered probably thermodynamics models also who knows the temperature plays a very important role in the uh, structural uh, integrity of the pump and therefore even those may also have to be considered right so uh, that's that's what we mean by uh, that's what we mean by uh, a digital twin right so uh, what what characterizes a digital twin uh, why are we talking about digital twin because it's a integral part of industry 4.0 because i want my entire factory yeah last session i spoke about a digital factory now for a digital factory uh, uh, everything has to be automated and digital now if i want to uh, automate this whole uh, system and pump is one of uh, the assets Uh, i want to monitor this pump uh, in real time uh, so that uh, uh, if the pump is going through some failures uh, i want to predict that failure i want to stop uh, 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 the pump beforehand before it fails uh, quickly uh, uh, do some maintenance activity on it bring it back uh, uh, in quick time 
all that has to happen before the pump actually fails right so asset performance digital twins one of the important uh, principles however digital twins have many many applications one of the important application is in uh, uh, predictive maintenance right uh, so uh, how, what characterizes digital twins digital twins are characterized by essentially analytics at every step right uh, data science uh, sensor data right essentially sensor data is 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 very very important very important uh, lots and lots of data has to be collected from the physical asset right uh, and then uh, the context has to be added earlier what i told you uh, uh, all the what fluid is being pumped uh, what is the pressure what is the temperature right all that all that contextual data also has to be plugged in along with its corresponding models even that has to be done right and all that gives us a picture a digital picture of my physical asset right so uh, this uh, this sensor data uh, is going to be brought in by I iot we spoke about that earlier right uh, uh, it may be uh, it may be from the asset it may be from the users uh, it may be from the logical models right these logical models the physics models that uh, so uh, the data may be from various sources the models that are built are uh, uh, from all this data from all this data that i am bringing in uh, plus the uh, plus the mathematical models uh, throwing out some numbers for me right uh, so uh, so essentially there is going to be some kind of uh, cognitive modeling right uh, to understand uh, cognitive modeling has to happen right cognitive modeling because i want to understand what's happening with my asset right and uh, uh, this cognitive modeling uh, uh, constructs the data help me always uh, continuously recalibrate right recalibrate the environment right very frequently and that will give me a complete picture of my my asset okay so uh, as i said it is it is it is more than uh, data it has algorithms which describe the counterpart right uh, uh, so this is really uh, uh, true integration of uh, cyber physical systems right uh, uh, true integration so uh, data has to come from the physical asset uh, to the uh, digital uh, thing and what is whatever is the predicted thing the digital twin can also send data back to the physical thing saying that oh don't 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 do this turn the knob reduce the temperature increase the pressure right all the, so the data is not only flowing from the physical asset to the digital asset it is also two way transaction and most importantly that transaction is a automated transaction no, somebody doesn't have to switch a button saying that oh i now i will start collecting data the data has to come in in real time continuously automated right uh, so no 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 manual intervention can really be tolerated if i want to understand what's happening to my uh, physical asset in real time right uh, there cannot be any lag so uh, the continuous interaction between the cyber entity and the physical entity you know automated way right so uh, these are other definitions uh, of uh, uh, what digital twins are right uh, what digital twins are there is one more thing right okay so uh, let me let me tell you the difference between a digital model and a digital twin for example a simulation model is a digital model how do i uh, typically how do we simulate let let uh, people who know uh, simulation right uh, i go to the field i collect lot of data that helps me understand uh, the probability distributions of so many things uh, my my variables my parameters my parameters may be stochastic i collect enough data so that i can build probability distributions uh, i come to my uh, computer uh, i write a code uh, which is supposed to simulate uh, which is supposed to simulate the uh, the operations on the field and then i plug in uh, probability distributions for all my parameters and i track the uh, performance variables right whatever variables i am tracking uh, cost uh, uh, time uh, uh, the uh, variances right what whatever variables i am tracking right uh, that is what i call a digital model what what is the uh, what do i mean by that right uh, uh, so essentially uh, i have a diagram yes so uh, there is this uh, physical asset this is my simulation model this is a simulation model and i built my simulation model by getting data from the field there is a manual data collection i i enter all the probability distributions in my digital model in my digital model right which is my simulation model whatever is the recommendation from the simulation model then i say ah this is this is the, these are the knobs that i need to i need to turn on my physical asset these are the knobs these are the things that i i need to do on my field so that the field operations are working in the optimized way 
right so it's a manual data call, uh, communication between the physical asset and the digital model that is different in digital twin in digital twin we really are talking about automated data sync between physical asset to the digital asset and uh, uh, the conclusions and the insights from the digi digital assets back to the physical assets so digital assets are controlling the physical assets automated digital way right there is no physical intervention there is no manual intervention needed right uh, so uh, we are talking about digital as uh, digital objects also controlling the physical uh, uh, object right so i don't i don't uh, uh, if if the pump if i know that the wear and tear is going out of the threshold and i need to shut down the pump i don't have to tell a worker oh please shut down the pump it has to happen automatically and the trigger to the maintenance has to happen right so that uh, so that is the difference between a digital model and a digital twin i will stop by mentioning one more point right so uh, essentially there is a bidirectional flow of data right uh, and uh, most importantly multiple threads of information uh, what that's the last point i will make and i will stop so we are not saying that uh, the data comes only from the physical asset the data may come from various other systems right the data may come from cad i i need to go back and understand what the design of the uh, uh, pump was look at the fmea of uh, 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 that we had created at the design stage uh, probably that will help me understand the, all the failure modes and then predict all uh, the the uh, the potential failures right i may have to look at the plm data right uh, there there may be something in the manufacturing processes that will tell me how to build my uh, how to build my digital twin so there are multiple threads of information that are coming in and actually making this digital twin more and more real like real uh, uh, more real right more real okay so uh, uh, that so th that's 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 really the uh, richness of digital twin compared to a data model compared to a digital model digital model really picks up data from uh, uh, the the field and builds a simulation model simulation model may have some uh, uh, contextual uh, information uh, some contextual modeling also some cognitive modeling but that cognitive modeling is only reactive it's not proactive right uh, here because of the real time data sync uh, I, I i build that proactive nature uh, in my digital uh, asset okay so that's that's the that's really the difference uh, what's the what's the data science component uh, in digital twin uh, okay so uh, it is expected that uh, nearly 20 billion devices are going to be connected right uh, uh, that that's what gartner says right and uh, what kind of data are we talking about uh, we are talking about uh, 40 zettabytes of uh, data right uh, everything structured data semi structured data unstructured data uh, so uh, building these kinds of uh, models for our assets we can say well it is going to become easier because lots of uh, devices are anyway connected it's going to become easier because i have lots of data but sifting through the data and uh, picking out what is relevant what is going to impact my uh, asset more what is going to be not relevant uh, how does uh, the, the the physics model say uh, or what 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 does the what what would a physics model predicted all that is where the intelligence is right uh, if you want to make the digital twin smarter uh, not just a dumb copy right uh, all all the mathematical models along with the data is going to give us the key okay so that's that's my uh, really short summary of digital twins i will stop here and uh, uh, that that will conclude my discussion on various aspects of uh, industry 4.0 which are very very important very critical for industry right now huge investments going on uh, in these areas huge investments in 3d printing huge investments in ar vr huge investments in building digital twins digital twins are important right for example let us say that i have a i have a, 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 a wind power generator right a, a, a somewhere and uh, that a, a, all those uh, generators are located in remote areas if i want to track them if i want to understand do i need to send a, a person to repair uh, some of these blades right uh, that's where the power of digital twins are going to be very important imagine uh, building a digital twin uh, for a jet engine of an aircraft when the aircraft is flying right uh, uh, I, I need to understand i need to i, I need to be on top of uh, everything real time monitoring of uh, my jet engine so all these places are where digital twins are going to be very important and they are actually becoming very important so let me stop with that small introduction